Hello, sir. I am Carolina Tinoco. I am a multidisciplinary creative. I'm an architect as well. I am Venezuelan and French. I've been working in the intersection of art, of design, architecture, and spirituality. So I, I take inspiration from the unlikely and sometimes the unseen. I worked in, started working since I studied architecture in the slums in Venezuela. So that's where I gained um, some grounding and humility would be the point. Uh, the, wh where I stand for is architecture to be humble, uh, us as architects and creatives to be humble and to co-create with the users, with the people, the communities, and with nature, actually, in this interaction and this co-creating co together more than imposing one's vision or an idea. Actually, I always say that um, architecture is like a boomerang. It always comes back to me. So uh, everything I do, it, I start from there. It's my structure. It's uh, my architectural approach. is always present in all the other disciplines that I've been working on. And actually, at, when I a long time ago, it was a problem. You know, it would say, "But you're an architect, but you're a curator, but you're designing. You do events and you furniture and art. I don't. I don't get it." Now I think people understand that this is exactly what we need in the changing world. So we have to keep, well, I went through many disruptions because of my country, family, and all of that. Just, I gained skills. So, and the skill was to adapt to change. And now we are in a moment where everything is changing all the time. So the, mo the more skills we have, uh, the better. So we, we should just take what is good about each of these disciplines that, that work for you or the methods that, that can be applied. Sometimes the method of architecture can be applied as I did in, in designing events and sometimes art helps you to be more creative in, in, a, in a design or in an architecture project. So just not having those boundaries, you know, and just being open to what you have to learn and for me the the way I have found balance is the spirituality. Yes, I think first we need to evolve the concept from, we're not in a point where we can just be sustainable. We're in a point where we have to regenerate. We have to think about regeneration more than sustainability. So we have to think about regenerating ourselves, then our communities, and then the planet. So. First of all, that's a key. Um, I, would, I would focus on regenerating that for first. And I agree, there's a lot of greenwashing, and it's, but it's a very, on the other hand, it's very complicated to be sustainable or regenerative. We just need to create tools. I'm actually working on a project that is going to be to enable this, uh, because that's one of my huge, the huge challenges that I have found as a curator, selecting projects uh, that are sustainable or regenerative, is that everything is so fast and, and everything is so complicated to understand because you think, because you're using a material, but it's the way the material is used and how long in time and if it's climate resilient or not. So it's not easy, it's not easy. And I don't like to like put out fingers and say this not, this not, you know, this, 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 this. I just want us to work together and, and, and collaborate in making it this easier for, for people to make the right choice and the right decisions professionally and as a person.